Hello, I'm Chris Swaffer. In Studio One 5.0, we're introducing some great features to make composing and creating in Studio One even better. And here are three of the most requested features from composers, all included in version 5.0. Brand new for Studio One's editor is the score view. You can now enter, edit, and view notes in standard musical notation. It is a rolling continuous view, just like the other editor views. It has its own link cursor and automatically scrolls in playback. If you want a broader view, just attach the window. Now you can edit with the score view and the piano roll view at exactly the same time, side by side. You can pin it even into another screen. You can even use the score view with Studio One's scratch pads. Now there's a safe place to put your scribble ideas and notes and try them out. Included in the score view is a compact set of musical symbols, all of which affect playback. If you like what you hear, then it's a breeze copying, pasting, manipulating, or duplicating. You can even duplicate to another position in the measure, and Studio One will split and redraw your durations around the bar line. Entering notes is easy. You can select with the mouse the duration and click the notes directly into the score. Or hook up a MIDI keyboard for the speediest input in step time mode. Time and key signature changes are handled from the global signature track and reflected automatically in the score. Once you are done, you can print. In version 5.1 and later, there are now two new page views, one for a full score and one for a part. Next to that is the print icon. This brings up the system print dialog, whether you are on Mac or Windows, where you can send to a printer or save as PDF. In the layout tab is where you can set up your page, including page size, orientation, margins, text font and size, as well as multi-measure rest options for your parts. In the track tab, you can set instrument name and abbreviation, staff type and transposition. If you're not sure on transposition, you can just apply one of our staff presets, which will set everything up automatically for you, so you can print and hand out your parts with confidence. Studio One's notation rules have been inherited from its sister notation software, Notion. All of Notion's notation rules are applied automatically, from note spacing to beaming and stem length to articulation, and of course, its clear notation font. All of which give Studio One's score view a clean and readable result out of the box. And of course, if you have Notion as well, you can send it your notation and other document info from Studio One, straight to Notion on the same computer or to anywhere on your network with just a couple of clicks. Also in Studio One 5.0 are major improvements to its integration of key switches. A new lane has been added to the musical editor to view and edit key switches. You can easily see which notes are assigned as key switches in the piano view itself as they are highlighted. Anything in this lane, of course, is excluded from other note actions, such as transpose, being processed by the chord track, or being shown in the score view. Studio One automatically shows the articulation names from third-party instruments that present this information, such as this new bass from Yujian. And for those that don't, there is a new mapping tool to assign key switches and to save and recall presets.
You don't need to manually recall your map every time you load the instrument. Just save them together as an Instrument Plus FX preset. And next time it's as simple as a single drag and drop. Finally, Studio One 5.0 now supports note controllers for more expressive playback, including poly pressure and MPE. Note controllers can affect individual notes in pitch, pressure, and timbre. MIDI instruments, such as the Presonus Atom or this X key I'm using here, offer polyphonic pressure. And MPE, or MIDI polyphonic expression, can be found on state of the art MIDI controllers, such as the Roly, Seaboard, and Blocks and Roger Lin's L instrument. It is also supported by a growing number of virtual instruments. If you want to move notes around once you've added some expression, there is also a new lock automation to notes feature, so the automation will move with the note. That's a quick overview of some of Studio One's new features for composers. Thanks for watching.